Hello guys, it is the Beast Pokeballer here as always, and today I am bringing a groundbreaking VGC 2015 strategy. This is going to be a strategy that involves 100% accurate hypnosis with the use of the move Gravity, an underrated move that not a lot of people use and um, how to use it. So we're going to build a team and then we're going to use it in a battle. So format is going to be VGC or um, Battle Spot Doubles, which is also VGC Battles, and uh, we'll go ahead and name it Get Hip, uh, spelled in a very punish way. Uh, you guys can't see the um, the title, but it is fine. It is covered up by my banner that my friend Radiant Eclipse made for me, so shout out to him. Uh, link in the description. So now we're going to go ahead and add Pokemon. Now the first Pokemon that we're going to make is going to be Sableye. So we're not going to be using Mega Sableye on this. We're going to be using normal Sableye, and of course we're going to give it Prankster. Um, on top of that, we're going to give it the Mental Herb, so it cannot it itself cannot get taunted. Um, so there we go, the Mental Herb. And the most important attack is going to be the Gravity on it. Um, gravity is an underrated move. Not a lot of people know what it does, but for five turns, it makes um, no ground immunities. So flying types can get hit by ground attacks, basically. Um, but on top of that, it makes Hypnosis 100% accurate. So now what we're going to do there is we're going to... Um, after we have that, we can give him Hypnosis, which he actually... Wait, wait, does he get it? No, he doesn't get Hypnosis. I'm sorry about that. Uh, scratch what I just said. We're going to give him Protect, um, just so we can, you know, scout out. We're going to give him, um, what's it called? What is the name of the move that I'm thinking of? Recover, yep. And the last move is really up to you. Um, I like to go Taunt to stop Safeguards, because Safeguards are the number one way to, um... And this, but anyways, we're gonna go with a calm nature, and we are going to max out the defense, and then give it a good amount of special defense, and then put the rest in HP. Um, now, what this this makes us very bulky without having to mega evolve, um, so that's good. So next, we're gonna make the next Pokemon on this team, which is pretty much the key Pokemon in this, which is gonna be Gengar. Um, it's gonna be Mega Gengar, and we're gonna go ahead and give it the Gengar right since. That's what it's going to be having. Um, moves, number one most important move, Hypnosis. Now, with Gravity, the Hypnosis is going to be 100% accurate. Um, so that's the main strategy. We're also going to be giving it Protect so we can get that first... Uh, we can be safe on that first turn and get that Mega mega um, Stats second turn. Then we're just going to give it two... Uh, we're going to give it Sludge Wave because it will protect us. I mean, it will not protect us. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, because it has good coverage and it will be able to, you know, reach multiple um, foes at once. And we're also going to give it Dazzling Gleam just for coverage. Um, now, Shadow Ball is an option, but we're actually not going to do it. Now, for this, we're just going to want to go straight up Timid Nature. Oops. Timid Nature. Um, you guys can see because we're on screen, but that's fine. And our EV spread is going to be basic, max special attack, um, max speed, 4 in HP. And, uh, yeah. So the next Pokemon that we're going to be running is going to be a Heatran. It's going to be a very standard Heatran. We're going to be running it with the um, Air Balloon to protect it from uh, Landorus's. And the moves are going to be very, very, um, you know, cliche, I guess. Uh, we're going to give it the Protect for coverage. Like most VGC Pokemon should have Protect, if you guys don't know. It is a very good move. We're going to give it Substitute because we're going to have a lot of time to set up with the strategy. Um, on top of Substitute, we're going to give it Heat Wave. Great move in double battles. Uh, it will not hit your, um, your partner. It will only hit the other two Pokemon. And then we're going to give it uh, Earth Power. Or, sorry, Earth Power for coverage. Now, for the EV spreads, we're going to want to go Modest Nature first off. Um, which, again, you guys, it's off screen, so you won't be able to see it, but you see it now. Um, and we're going to want to go, uh, let's see, it was its max special attack 100 in HP. And the rest you can go into speed. Actually, I'm sorry, it was the opposite is 100 in speed and the rest you can go to HP. So we have a good amount of bulk and you also have a decent amount of speed where you can outspeed a lot of um, more, um, a lot of other VGC Pokemon that are commonly used. Now our next Pokemon is going to be a very, very key Pokemon of this and that's going to be Kingdra. Now Kingdra is a Pokemon that not a lot of people use, but it is, uh, not a lot of people use it in VGC, but everyone knows about the whole muddy water strategy. So of course we're going to be giving it the sniper ability. We're not going to be going Swift Swim. We're not going to be using a Politoed in this strategy. We are going to give it the focus energy, so after one focus energy, we have 100% for all crits. And our second move is going to go ahead and be um, Ice Beam, and then Muddy Water, and then lastly, Draco Meteor. Now, after the Draco Meteor, our, okay, our item is a very, very 
a, a different item. You don't see this item run a lot in VGC doubles. Excuse me, I had to take a drink. But we're going to be going ahead and using the wide lens. Oh, basically the only Pokemon, the only Pokemon that most people will run the wide lens on is going to be Rotom Wash with the um, Hydro Pump and the uh, Will-O-Wisp. But this is going to be another good Pokemon to be using it on, and you're going to see why. Um, it's going to be so we get to want a good amount more of accuracy for Muddy Water, and basically 100% accuracy for Draco Meteor. I'm not sure. Um, it makes it 1.1 uh, times 1.1, so it gets a lot better. Um, of course, there's still chances that both of these moves will still miss, um, but it will make them hell of a lot more accurate. So the next Pokemon is going to be Terrakion. Oops. Now we're just going to run a Lumberry Terrakion, uh, so we cannot get Will-O-Wisped. Um, Justified, of course. And we're going to go Rock Slide. You can also run Focus Sash on this if you want, by the way. So we're going to go Rock Slide, Close Combat. Oops. Oops. Uh, double kick, and then um, for the last move, we're going to be running um, Rock Slide because what kind of v what's a VGC team without Rock Slide? Now instead of double kick, if you want, you can run Protect, but double kick's good for breaking Focus Sashes on like um, Bisharps. I know they don't really run. Um, oh, we didn't do the EV spread for King Dribble. We'll go back to it. Um, I know they don't usually run Focus Sash on Bisharps anymore, but it's still kind of a common thing, and it will be good for Bisharps anyways. Um, so, for the EV spread for this, I did forget. We're going to go Timid Nature. Uh, since we're going to want that speed, we're going to have huge special attack um, once we have the 100% um, crit ratio. So, just max out the special attack. Go 4 in HP or 4 in whatever else you want. Um, yeah. And so, for this, we're going to want to go Jolly right here. And we're basically going to want to be doing the same thing as um, King Drudge's physical. There we go. And for our last Pokemon, we're going to run a... Uh, a good tank. We're going to be running Conkledor. Now, guys, this isn't going to be the greatest and strongest VGT, VGC team there ever has been. This is going to be good for this strategy. Now, this strategy can be outplayed, um, but every strategy can be outplayed. Um, so that's just a little disclaimer, I guess. But anyways, we're going to give it the Assault Vest, and we're going to give it the typical moves, which are going to be Drain Punch, Mock Punch. Oops. Oops. Mock Punch. There we go. Um, Ice Punch. And knock off. So we're just gonna go max HP, max attack, four in the defense actually, and then we're gonna be giving it an adamant nature. Oops. So yes, guys, that is basically gonna be the team, and the strategy goes like this: first turn you set up gravity, or you protect, or you taunt, whichever one fits the um, the scenario better. And then with Gengar, you're gonna want to go ahead and set up the hypnosis or you're going to want to protect so you get your mega stats and you have your huge amount of speed um, on level 50 that's I mean we'll see what it's going to be um, I'll, I'll hover over it when we get into the actual battle Heatran you have mainly so you can freely sludge wave and not worry about your other Pokemon getting hit Kingdra is our setup Pokemon with that muddy water it's going to be devastating destroying and clearing the field um, basically the thing that can stop it the most is going to be a Venusaur or a Sceptile but Sceptile is really not that used in VGC. Um, the Terrakion is just going to be an all-out attacker. And Conqueror is going to be an all-out attacker with a lot of defenses. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and hop into a VGC battle. And I will see you when we get there. Alright guys, we got into a battle right now. And we are just going to go ahead, straight up Savage. Lead with the Sableye and the Gengar. Um, judging by this team, I think Conqueror is going to be the better option for that Umbreon. And then we're going to want to bring the Kingdra so I can showcase how to set that up. Now, guys, they, they may not be the best Pokemon in general for this strategy, but it's what we're going to be using. So, immediately, I see the Smeargle as a Dark Void Pokemon. So, we're going to go ahead and um, we could... I think taunting it might be the best thing to do here. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and taunt the Smeargle. Um, this Golark can't kill us, I'm pretty sure. Um, and so, with Gengar, we're just going to protect from that Golark first turn. since, And we're not going to have the, uh, the super duper... Um, Accurate hip, or 100% accurate hypnosis. So we're just going to go ahead and Mega Evolve with Gengar and protect for the safety. That Golurk's probably going to attack us. And now we're going to taunt the Smeargle. So now I cannot set up the Dark Void that it definitely... Oh! Wow, he's going to set up the Gravity for us. Now that's actually really awesome. I did not know that Golurk gets Gravity. I'd definitely say that Sableye is a better user of Gravity. Um, but anyways, this turn with Sableye, we are definitely going to taunt whatever comes in 
for the Smeargle, because it's definitely going to switch out. People aren't going to run an attacking Smeargle. And with the Gengar, we are safe to just Hypnosis straight up. So let's see how this goes. Alright, he stays in with the Smeargle, which is weird. I don't know what his plan is for that. Sheer Cold. Wow, so Sheer Cold, that is definitely going to be a problem. But it's fine, because this turn... We can go ahead and uh, taunt the Golurk. Because I really don't have anything better to do it. And we can go ahead and um, Hypnosis the Smeargle. Um, what Gravity does, actually, I did say that it makes moves 100% accuracy. I'm pretty sure it just doubles them. Which is why his... Um, his uh, attack didn't hit us. But anyways, he's going to switch in. He's going to go for the Shadow Punch. That is almost going to take out our Gengar, but it's not actually going to be enough. So his taunt's going to end. And now is a key turn. We're going to switch out Sableye for our Kingdra. And we're going to go ahead and attack and get another Hypnosis off on this Golurk. And uh, yeah. It is very interesting how he's running it with the Smeargle. Um, it is really susceptible to taunt since Smeargle is not the fastest Pokemon there is. And Sableye has the Prankster unlike Golurk. Um, I think the way that I'm running it is a little bit better, but it's neat to see that we're coming up against it. So we're going to Hypnosis his Golurk, make it fall asleep. His Golurk is going to stay asleep, of course, first turn, and so is his Smeargle. So this gives us a great opportunity to attack and set up our first focus energy. Um, with the Gengar, we can go ahead, attack, and just... Uh, it's probably best for us to Dazzle and Gleam right now. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, yeah, we're going to Dazzling Gleam. It's going to do a bit to the Golurk and a good good chunk to the Smeargle. We're going to set up our Focus Energy. Our crits are mad. The Golurk stays asleep and the Smeargle also stays asleep, guys. This is where it ends right here. Uh, the Taunt on the Golurk ends. That's fine. So now um, we don't have 100% accurate Hypnosis because the uh, Gravity did end. But now we can just destroy with our Kingdra and also destroy with our Gengar. So we're going to protect since I think he's going to Shadow Punch us. Uh, just in case Muddy Water does miss him. Because there is, even with the Wide Lens, there is still a chance that it is going to miss. So, yeah. And by the way, guys, I know I say so, yeah, a lot. But I don't really do much, uh, you know, VGC tutorials. Um, but I am a big VGC battler. I just aren't, I'm just not able to upload that many videos about it. Um, but I do plan on doing actual VGC battles once I do get my... Um, wow, super effective. And it missed the smear goal, that's fine. And he is going to indeed Shadow Punch the Gengar. Great prediction. He's going to wake up with the Smeargle. And he's going to do a role play. So that means he gets um, the No Guard. But that is fine. Because now we're just going to Muddy Water once again. This should be able to take out both of them. Uh, yeah, okay. And then with the Gengar, we're going to go ahead and just Dazzling Gleam. It should be able to take them out before, um, before the Muddy Water goes off. But that's fine. Um, once I get my capture card, guys, I'm going to be doing, like, daily VGC, kind of similar to Alex Agloza. He's a big inspiration of mine. And, uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, it's so important. I got this strategy from Verlicify. I saw it on his videos. I asked him if I can make my own video about it. He said it's fine. He said I don't need to credit him, but I'm going to credit him because I saw it from him. So, yeah, that's just uh, an important side note to mention. So, let's see what happens this turn. Um, again, our speed on our Kingdra is going to be 150, and with the Gengar, it's going to be 200. So that's very useful. It's going to be faster than both of his. Um, yeah. Let's see what happens now. I don't know if he's stalling, but he has 90 seconds left. We may see a forfeit here, guys. This, 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 I mean, this strategy is just rage inducing. All right. Oh, uh, by the way, guys, if you want to be able to battle me, um, face to face in VGC battles or UU battles or OU battles definitely go check out my series that I just started called Showdown Saturdays every Saturday we're going to be doing a showdown viewer or sh I'm sorry a showdown battle with one viewer or one of my friends and um, we're just going to go ahead and upload it so definitely go check out that series if you want to be in the next episode we're going to be doing UU battles then you're going to want to comment below that like yo I'd like to do a UU battle with you on showdown and then the week after, we're going to be doing VGC, week after OU, week after UU, week after VGC. Like, it's just a repeating cycle. So let's see what he does. I think we may have a forfeit here. He's just going to rage quit because of how devastating that this um, this tactic is. Now, again, guys, it can be countered. Um, uh, safeguard is a thing with Meow Sticks mostly. So you're definitely going to watch out. want to watch out for that. He has 20 seconds left, guys. I think that this is over. Um, I'm sorry that you didn't get to see the greatest example, but um, I'm going to go ahead and use this one in the video. Um, but yeah, guys, I guess that's basically going to be it. He has 10 seconds left, and we won. All right, guys, rate, comment, subscribe. Remember to leave a like. 
for more VGC content, more VGC videos, more shiny videos, more of my Let's Plays, more battles, smoke on, anything you like to see, I'm probably doing it. Just kidding, but I probably, I'm gonna do a shitload. Anyways, um, anyways guys, see you later, and as always, I fucking love you.